welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a beauty haul because I love beauty and I've bought quite a few bits and bobs lately and um, there's been some new releases, MAC and um, yeah, I'm, I've just been really excited about these products so without further ado, let me show you what I've got. Firstly, let's start with all of the things that I got inside selling. Firstly, some hair care stuff. Um, lately, I've been trying to get away from Batiste because I really want to try some new dry shampoos. So, I bought this one from Sebastian. This is the Dynamic Instant Style Refreshing Spray, which is a dry shampoo. And I hope this is going to be really good. So far, I've only heard good things about um, Sebastian products. Next two things are for my nails, and these are the Essie Help Me Grow Base Coat and the Super Duper Top Coat. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited about these two. I really wanted some new base and top coats because I'm out of these. So, I'm really excited. I think I bought the wrong 45. Uh, I bought the wrong top coat. Something from NYX. This is the NYX Ultra Nourishing Lip Balm. And I've actually already used this one. I couldn't help myself. My lips have been chapping a lot and just been really sore because of the weather. So I decided to try this one and it is really good. Um, as you can see, I've already used fairly much and it is so, so, so great, so nourishing. And I use it only in the nighttime because I feel like in the daytime it is way too balmy on the lips. It is very, very thick. It's not like a normal lip balm. It is very, very balmy and very thick in texture. But the smell is so lovely. It smells like citrusy, honey-ish. I just really like the scent. Next up is some drugstore things. All of these are actually from Maybelline because I am thinking about doing a one brand makeup tutorial with only Maybelline products. So I just needed a few bits and bobs in order to be able to do that makeup tutorial. So I bought the Dream Sun Bronzing Powder from Maybelline. This is in the color 02 Golden. And furthermore, I bought a single eyeshadow. This is um, the Maybelline Color Show in the color 34 Lustrous Beige. And I think this is so pretty. It kind of like reminds me of Set and Taupe from MAC. Um, and then I bought two of these um, Dream Touch blushes from Maybelline. And this one is in the color 02, which is kind of peachy. And this one is 05, which is more pinky. I think both of them look so great. They are cream blushes, so I'm excited to try these. Next up is the sheer powder brush from Bobbi Brown. This is so good for um, powdering in your T-zone because it's small and compact. And you can also use it to contour or bronze up because it's kind of smaller than a normal powder brush. So I really like this one. So I decided to get it for myself. And lastly, I got a lot of things from MAC. The first thing that I want to show you is the MAC Pro Long Wear Foundation. I've never, ever, 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 ever tried this one, but I just caved in because I wanted to try a new uh, foundation. So I bought this one. This is with SPF 10, and I've got it in the color NC20. And the packaging looks like this. You probably all know this one. I've never, ever tried it. Not sure if I'm going to like it or not, but we'll have to give it a go. Maybe I should do a first impression on it. Let me know if you want to see that. And then I also bought the Food Line Eyeliner Gel in the color Rich Ground. And this is so pretty. I've actually already used this one in a tutorial. It was my 90s inspired brown smoky eye. I love this one so, so much. Kind of like a red bronzy color. So pretty. Then I also bought a Prolonga Paint Pot from MAC. This is the one called Constructivist. And this is so pretty. Kind of like goes really great together with the Fluid Line um, Rich Ground. It looks like... Open. Oh. That was hot. It looks like this. It is so pretty, like a deep, bronzy brown color. So, so pretty with kind of like red undertones in it. I think it's so gorgeous and I can't wait to use it. Then I bought two new MAC lip liners because I am in love with lip liners. I think they're so, so great. Um, I bought the ones called Boldly Bear and Stripped Down. Boldly Bear is just a really nice, fleshy... Uh, lip liner that just goes great as a lip liner on its own or under like pinks or nudes. Switch it there. Really great color. And the other one was stripped down as I said and this is more of a brownie lip liner and I'm so excited about this one. It looks like that. Oh my god, I love it so much. I think it's so cool. I really like those brownie lips at the moment. I just think they look so sophisticated and I don't know, I just really like it. <laughs> You've already seen me use these two as well, but I've recently just got them. These are the MAC 
um, lipstick and lip gloss from the Viva Glam Miley Cyrus collection. Oh, I love them so, so, so much. I've done a makeup tutorial on the look that Miley Cyrus wore in the Viva Glam uh, campaign and these are just drop dead gorgeous. I love them. The lipstick is kind of like a very pink colour. It looks like this. So freaking cool. Looks like that when it's applied. So pretty. I love it so much. And it's an, in an amplified finish. So And the lip glass. Not lip gloss. Lip glass is like this. And it's just a very vivid bright pink with glitters. Lip glass. So pretty. It is not as pigmented as you might would have thought, but I still think it's so pretty. And I would actually wear this one just on its own, just to give a bit more of a healthy look to my lips. Next up, I bought something from Smashbox, and this is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer in the color Adjust. So this is a color correcting primer, and it's kind of like green, very, very funny, um, but it's supposed to cancel out redness in the skin. And as you know, I do have some time trouble with, you know, like a red nose. So I really hope this one is going to counterbalance the redness on my nose. Just look at that. It is green when it gets out. It's so weird. Honestly, I just couldn't help myself. I needed to get the Chanel uh, Blush Camellia Rose. This is a limited edition blush and it is drop dead gorgeous. Um, I just needed to get it because it is so freaking beautiful. Just look at that. And the print in it as well, just so gorgeous. It's kind of like roses in there and it also comes with a little brush. Um, not sure that I'm going to use that one. And it smells like roses. It smells so luxurious, you guys. And I think the color is just the perfect everyday blush shade. Seriously, you will be able to use this always and ever because it's just such a nice classic blush shade. When I went to Copenhagen in January because I was going to that Bobby Brown um, seasonal training, I discovered these things. Um, these are from Art Deco and I've never ever ever tried anything from Art Deco before but I've heard about it. It's a German makeup brand and um, I decided to try some of the things from them and also it was cheaper because I bought it in the airport. Um, the first thing here is the Art Deco High Performance Lifting Foundation which is a long lasting moisturizing foundation with gold particles. And um, I got it in the color 10. And I'll probably also do like a first impression on this one because I have no idea what to expect from this one but it's supposed to be a lifting foundation and just give you a really nice glow and also it's supposed to be long lasting and I think the packaging is kind of cool reminds me a bit of Dior actually or something like that so I think it's pretty then I bought two lip liners um, these are the Art Deco soft lip liners and these are waterproof I bought it in the color 19 which is somewhat of a the berry, uh, berry rosy color and the other one is in the color 17 and this is more like a uh, neutral nude uh, lip liner. Then I bought an eyeshadow base because, I don't know, I just felt like trying it. Comes in a little pot like this and the texture of it looks like that. So it's got a bit of a tint in it as well. Exciting. And the last thing was a bronzing powder from Art Deco. This is the Bronzing Powder Compact. And this has got SPF 12. That's nice. And the packaging looks like this, kind of like a brownie one. And the product looks like this. So it's got two different colors in it. This is in the color 2, I believe. Um, yeah, number 2. So it looks like this. I think it's really pretty. Nice colors. And you can kind of like adjust how dark you want your contour bronzing to be. So that's nice. Oh yeah, I bought two MAC lipsticks in the airport as well. The first one here is called Love Lawn and this is so pretty, a very gorgeous pink color. And this is in a luster finish, looks like that. I think it's a very wearable uh, pink color. Just look at that. I think it's really pretty. And the other one is obviously Velvet Teddy. Oh my god, I can't believe that I didn't have this lipstick before. This is just gorgeous and it's in a matte finish. Looks like this. It is just right up my alley, like deep, dark, brownie lipstick. Just right up my alley at the moment. I love it so much. Gorgeous! 
and all of the last products are from Bobbi Brown and let me just put a disclaimer out there firstly some of these products I was given live for free because I went to that seasonal training so I haven't bought all of these things myself but some of the things I bought myself and some of them were given to me um, so the first thing I want to show you is the Intensive Skin Supplement. This is a serum um, for the entire face and this is so good and it's made for all skin types. And I've also got the Bobbi Brown Extra Bright Advanced Serum. And this is a new release from um, Bobbi Brown. I'm not sure it's out yet in the stores. Um, and it looks like this. This is supposed to brighten your complexion and give you kind of like a lit from within and just make you look fresh and healthy and glowy. You know, just that illuminated finish really and I'm so excited to try this one. And I've also got the Soothing Cleansing Oil from Bobbi Brown. This is supposed to cleanse your skin from makeup. Um, so it's kind of like a makeup remover. And this is with cuckoo nut and sunflower oils and jasmine flower. Now some makeup bits and bobs. The first thing here is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in the color Black Mauve Shimmer Ink. This is the number 23. It is a shimmer eyeliner and it's just gorgeous. I love it so much. Just look at that. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's kind of like a mauve purple color. And I think it's going to be great for my eyes because I've got brown eyes. So I'm so excited about that. And then I also bought the Tinted Moisturizer in the color Light Tint. This is not the oil-free version because I thought, you know what? During winter, it is nice to have some... Um, tinted moisturizer with an oil in it just to give a bit more um, hydration. So in the summer I'm going to use the tinted moisturizer without oil and in the winter time I'm going to use this one. Then I got a blush brush because I really like this one. Whenever I use this to apply blush on my clients it just looks amazing so I knew that I had to get this for myself. Then I got a red um, nail polish. This is called Cherry Tomato or Tomato and it looks like this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I've already worn it once and I'm in love. Then I bought a Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation Stick in the color Warm Almond. And you might be like, you're not that dark, Camilla. And that is so true, but I'm going to use it for contouring. So that's like that. Um, let's watch it right there. As I said, I'm going to use it for contouring. My battery is running out. Lastly, I got four lipsticks. Um, these are called Sand Wash Pink and Ice Pink, New Beige, number seven. Also a nude one and beige two and brown four. Very, very, very lovely ones. And that was all from my haul. I really hope that you enjoyed it. There was a lot. It's kind of like a collective haul. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram. My battery is running out. Not lovely at all. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. It means the world to me. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and if you like them. And else, thank you so much for watching. Have the most amazing day. Bye! I don't think that my brows are dark enough to resemble Miley's completely. So I'm going to use my Brow Duo 